Hello and welcome to another video on Inkscape, a free open source vector graphics editor. To learn where you can download a copy and how to use it, click on the link in the top right hand corner of the screen. If you find this video helpful, then help us by giving a like and subscribing to the channel. Remember to hit the bell icon so you're notified when we release new videos. This video is going to be a, a follow on to our last video, which covered our different options that we've got available to us for creating offsets in Inkscape. If you haven't seen the video and you'd like to see it, you can click on the link in the top right hand corner. Go back and watch that before you watch this one. So in this video, we're going to create this shield design. So to create our shield logo, I'm going to start by uh, creating the shield. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to grab the ellipse tool. I'm going to hold down control. I'm going to drag out a circle. I'm going to make the radius of this. 200 so we need to do X and Y I'm then going to grab our uh, rectangle tool drag out a rectangle I want the width of this to be 400 and I want the height to be 200 we grab our selection tool I'm going to drag down the square. If I go over to our um, snapping menu, we turn on snapping, we turn on snapping boundary boxes. I want snapping uh, midpoints of boundary box edges highlighted. So now when we drag our rectangle down, it should snap nicely to the top center of our circle. So now we've created our shield shape. We just want to union these two together. So if we hold down shift, and select the circle. We can go up to path and down to union which turns them into one shape. So now we've got our basic shield shape I want to make the two um, borders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control D to duplicate our shield. I'm then going to go and change the colour. We change it to yellow and we can go to Control and use our open bracket to shrink it in a few times to where we think it'll look nice. One more. I think that'll do. Now I'm going to use Control D to duplicate again. We're going to change the color again. And I'm going to bring it in using Control um, Open Brackets. So we just bring it in a couple of places, maybe one more. Then Control D to duplicate again. We change the colour once more. Then Control Open Bracket to shrink it down again. I think that should do us. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut away the yellow from the green. So to do this we're going to have to select our green shape. Hold down Shift. Select the yellow shape. I have to zoom in, I can't get hold of it. So hold down shift, select the yellow shape, then we're going to go up to path, down to difference, which will cut the yellow shape away from the green shape, leaving this border. Now we're going to do the same to the blue. So we're going to get our outside blue shape, we're going to hold down shift, we're going to click on the inner shape, and then we're going to go up to path, down to difference to cut the middle out. Now if we hold down shift and select the green border, we can go up to path and union to join these two together. So now this is all one shape. Next thing we need to do is put our text across. So if we go to our text tool, we can come over and start writing. So what do we want? Offset. So oh. or offsets. I think we did it before. Uh, we go up. We change our font, I think I'll do the Brian James condensed. Yeah, that looks quite good. I'm going to get the selection tool and I'm just going to, I'm going to hold down control I think so we can constrain it to keep the proportions the same. Take it down to about the size we want. We can line it up roughly where we want it. I'm going to skew it slightly so if we Click again 
on the um, text we get our skew handles and we can skew our writing um, I think I probably want it about there so what I'm going to do is go up and get the align and distribute menu down I'm going to hold down shift select the shield at the back and then I'm going to line them up um, what would that be vertically horizontally whichever way side to side and I think that looks pretty good so now we've got them where we want them we need to cut out uh, a slight border around our offsets so we're going to do this so we click off deselect everything then we click back onto our text we're going to press Control D to duplicate we can then change the color we drop it behind so we just drop it back one and then we can use Control close bracket to expand it slightly I think that looks pretty good so what we're going to do now is we're going to hold down shift, select our shield, and then we're going to go up to path, down to difference, to cut away the um, enlarged text from our background shield. And we can then just select, drag a shape over the top of all of them, group them together so they're not likely to move. Oh, we grab the nodes tool. I want to change the colour of this to red. So it's similar to how it was before. There we go. And then we have it. A shield offset. I, what I will quickly show you is if we drag out a circle, we change the colour to green. Get our selection tool. Bring this to the top. And as you can see, all the shapes have been cut away. So when you sit it over the top of an image, you'll see the image through our design. So that's our offset shield using our uh, offset controls. For the next one, we're going to create a solid background for our Kingfisher design. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.